Hello fellow DIYers and focus on us. Today, well, today, it's still today for me. Anyway, so this is my second video. Uh, just a bit ago, in the last video, I did change the power steering fluid and now I'm going to change the anti-freeze engine coolant, call it what you want. In Romania it's called anti-gel, so that's why I usually call it anti-freeze instead of coolant. Uh, what I'm going to do here is, it's actually a good question. So make sure the engine is relatively cold and this thing isn't under pressure. In my case it isn't. And I will need to take off the radiator hose because I don't see any drain plug unfortunately. So let's get uh, into that. So radiator hose, radiator hose. It seems like this large one is the lower radiator hose and uh, that's what we're going to take off. As simple as that. Now I will attempt to get that hose clamp off with my pair of needle nose pliers. Heads up, it won't work. By the way, useful tip. After you remove the hose clamp, twist it about 90 degrees so you will have an easier job putting it back into its place. Okay. Attempt number two. And I was also afraid of breaking the clamp because it was really rusty. Let me get another. Don't forget, you can find parts list, required tools and social media links down in the description. Okay. And don't forget to open up the heater core so you get all the coolant out. Oh god. Oh, come on. So now I will put the hose back. Hopefully all the coolant is out. Well, at least most of it. Hmm, I'm not sure what can I show it to you from. So you can see well. Darn it. Just like that. Mm. Yeah. It's at the limit, okay. And I will pull that clamp over it and then fill it up with. So, this is the antifreeze or coolant combination that I'm using Ford Super Plus Premium antifreeze plus distilled water from Ade Garage. It doesn't really uh, matter from who you get the distilled water, the point is to get distilled water. So I did fill this up over the max, because uh, we still have to get the air out of the system. And I will start the engine and uh, let's bleed it. So here we are bleeding the system. So I did put in about two and a half liters of uh, antifreeze and about two liters of distilled water. So you should go usually with a 50-50. Let's look for any leaks. If you don't see any leaks, congratulations, you've done a good job. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. You can go ahead and press the thumbs up, 
and if you consider subscribing, don't forget to press that uh, bell to get notified. Have a wonderful day, and for free, out.